Hi, it's Charles Norman again here from Professor Q Sports Solutions with another Professor Q product review. Now, today's product is actually going to be a second time that I'm going to talk about the lightning stick. Uh, I did a, a review of this product uh, a few months ago and put it up on the internet. And so what I wanted to do this time is uh, uh, go over it again and tell you how important and how proud I actually am of the inventor of this product, Joe Magno. It seems that he's been able to uh, strike up a deal with Evan Longoria, the professional baseball player, who's going to now uh, uh, endorse this product. And it's a great, great product, and it's a good time for me to come back and reintroduce it to you. In fact, this was the very first video I did for, for uh, this baseball softball hitting trainer. And I want to go over again why it's so important. Now, just to give you a little bit of history, I've actually uh, been selling these. I had a retail store that sold sports training products and uh, videos and things like that. Back in 2001, I was already selling the Lightning Stick. as It was one of my uh, favorite products. It was one of the most popular products in the store. And that just tells you how long some of these products have been around, even though you've never heard of them. Now, this is the original version. You can see that it didn't have the end cap on it. And there are a couple other little differences. Uh, it's a little glossier, this new version. And then, uh, yeah, this one's a little duller. But both of them were made with a uh, brass finish on them. Very uh, comfortable handles on them. A little spongy feel. Not quite spongy, but uh, very comfortable to sit in your hand correctly. And um, now that uh, I, I'm sure that Mr. Longoria is uh, going to be endorsing, there will be some differences made again to get them to the retail level. Uh, this is very, very hardy uh, equipment. This one has been used by a number of teams in my uh, local neighborhood, my kids' teams. I let them use it uh, when they were trying to play baseball and softball. They moved on to basketball, and now they're both in college. So it's been around quite a while. Uh, so let me give you a few ideas behind why this thing is so popular and uh, why it works so well. One of the biggest, biggest problems for baseball hitting and softball, to be uh, honest with you, is the fact that holding your hands correctly and moving your hands correctly is not a natural movement for human beings. The, the reason is because you, what you need to do is you need to have your wrists working together and it's just not a natural motion. In fact, if you were to watch uh, at a family reunion picnic something where they decide to have a baseball game or a softball game, if you watch people or a kid just picking up a bat for the first time, they will pick up a bat like this. And the problem is that you want your, your uh, knocking knuckles, which are you know, your knuckles if you're going to knock on a door, to line up, and that allows your wrist to work together. But a natural holding of, the, of a bat is for your knocking knuckles and your other knuckles to line up, not the two knocking knuckles. And so that's the first problem that is solved here. Again, if you want to hit a baseball correctly, and it's the same thing in golf. If you look at the golf grip, it's not a natural grip, but they need to have you hold the, the club that way, the same thing with the bat, so that your wrists can move together so that you can get enough power and leverage to hit correctly every time. The other thing is if your locking knuckles are together, you don't do the natural motion of turning your wrist. This is a natural motion for your hands, is to turn your wrist. And so you're trying to avoid that. And then the way to do that is to force you into this motion here. And so that's what the lightning stick done. The handle has a flat side and a rounded side. So the flat side fits comfortably inside the, the uh, hands. And uh, Joe explains it very well. In fact, if you were to purchase this through my company, I actually send you a link to a video where he tells you exactly how to hold this in your hand and how to use it. I'm sure they're going to do it when this thing hits the retail stores also. Um, the other thing is these uh, holes in the middle are for aerodynamics. So you're not going to be trying to hit and make the ball come through here. A lot of people think that's the way it's used, but it's not. You're actually going to be hitting on this edge. And so this is the second part, is for accuracy, right? So you're going to have to be very, very, very accurate and consistency. And those are two of the other things that are really important for a baseball and softball hitter. You want to be accurate and you want to have consistency. You want to get consistent every time you go up to hit that you're swinging the same way and you're probably going to get a hit or at least you're going to make good contact. And so what you do is you take little golf ball size, uh, look like little almost ping pong balls, but uh, they're plylo golf balls. They're used for practice in golf and you use the same thing here. You can find them at any store, uh, any sporting goods store will have them. And also I've seen them in Walmart and Kmart and Target and places like that. 
So you can go, they're very inexpensive. And so when the, the player is getting ready to hit, they're actually going to hit with this edge, this small edge. They're going to hit that ball. You can do soft toss, you can do, you know, just regular tosses and let them get a rhythm, get get used to doing it. Now, uh, I know you're supposed to bring the, the uh, handle of the bat towards the ball and all of that stuff. I'm not a baseball player, so I'm not going to claim to be. But I can tell you this, from when I had my retail store, this product and a product called the Bat Action, which you can see another review if you go to my uh, YouTube channel, uh, I do a review on that, were the two best selling products I had and the two most effective baseball softball hitting aids, period. It wasn't even close. This, I always felt, worked better for a hitter that was a pretty good player already, but needed to take his hitting to the next level. Uh, again, so consistency, accuracy, and hitting was really important, but most of these players already were pretty good baseball players and pretty good hitters. The Bat Action is all around just a great product, and you can go and see the review on that later on. Again, I wanted to, um, first of all, congratulate Joe. I know he's been working on this thing. I was back in 2001 when I had my retail store, so we're already looking at about 10 years that he's had this, and I know this thing was out even before that, and he's just worked his way through it. He's gone, went through a lot of ups and downs, and I'm really, really happy for him. So to you, Joe, congratulations. That's Joe Magno, who actually invented the lightning stick. And I'm sure you're going to be seeing these in the retail store soon. I will say this, it'd be great to get uh, your hands on the original model. A lot of times, and I'm not saying it's going to happen with this situation, but a lot of times in order to get them to the retail store at a price point that makes sense, they're going to have to maybe change up some of the materials. And usually when an inventor or the person who first came up with the idea, they use the top grade materials to, um, to make their product, and it's usually uh, priced in a way where it's not good for retail so when a company uh, gets it and wants to put it in a retail store they make a lot of changes to it so if you want to get these I have I think about 30 or 40 of these left um, I'll put a link down below you're more than welcome to buy it from me and I'll, I'll send it to you and I'll also send you the link but you don't have to pretty soon these are going to be on store shelves I'm sure they'll go into sporting goods stores first um, I don't know what products going to be made out of these are made out of a brass um, and they really have a good little ting when they hit that uh, Pilo ball, you can hear that ting. It's actually a pretty cool little sound, and it lets you know, uh, gives you some feedback on whether or not you hit correctly. So that's it for this one. This is the lightning stick. It is going to be endorsed by Evan Longoria. Uh, you'll soon soon be seeing them on store shelves, I'm sure. And if you wanted to get one early and get one of the uh, the current models, feel free to go ahead and purchase it from me. But whatever you do. Wherever you find this thing, go ahead and get it. If you have a young player that's going to play baseball or softball, you have to have one of these. All right, thanks a lot. And don't forget, go to our website. I'll put a, uh, we'll put something at the end of this video to show you where to go to. And we have tons of reviews on different products for baseball, basketball, you know, soccer, bat, you know, football. Whatever we have, we'll show you the best products on the market, the ones that actually work. And we never, ever recommend or review a product that uh, we haven't seen work in real life. All right, thanks a lot, and we'll see you later. Best of luck to you and your young athlete. Bye-bye.